everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne, and today I will be going over the Corsair Raptor M45 gaming mouse. And this is uh, mainly for FPS, and I would say more of an entry level mouse, um, but we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look. Here's everything that comes in the box. Not much, but you know, this is pretty simple, straightforward. So, what do we got? We have the uh, warranty guide, of course as well as a uh, Corsair Raptor M45 guide. Now you'll want to download the M45 software so you can go ahead and program the buttons on this mouse. Alrighty, and also you will need this shiny new penny. This is not included with the box, but you'll need it to remove the weights. Before I plug it in and show you the LEDs on this mouse, I just want to quickly go over the cable. So it's cloth braided, something I prefer over rubber. And also I do like that they've included a Velcro strap for you. It's always nice to have instead of the twist ties that eventually just go down to the wire. <laughs> Let me know what I mean. Alrighty, and as well as this, I believe, USB 2.0 connector. Now. As for the length of cable, you get 1.8 meters or 5.9 feet. All right, here's a closer look at the mouse. The LEDs are on for the uh, DPI, on the fly DPI adjust section, and for the Corsair logo on the bottom. Now, this button will change your DPI to lowest and highest. Default DPI I'll show you in the software, but you can always set your own. There's even a sniper um, DPI setting, which is really awesome. This is, after all, an FPS mouse. Well, for it, anyway. So I like to set it on the second one, about 2400 DPI. That's very comfortable for me. Um, alrighty, so now on to the features, physical features of this mouse. It has this soft touch finish, which is nice. I always love soft touch finishes. Um, and it just feels good beneath the finger. But it does track a little bit, as you can see, fingerprints, especially when you're like sweating and stuff. I played some Titanfall yesterday, and um, yeah, I noticed some smudges here and there. Not so much on the sides, though. A little bit, but the sides are rough. You can hear it. It's kind of like this... Uh, not as rough as sandpaper, I'd say, but it's got that roughness, so it's like anti-slip. Especially when you're in like a really crazy gaming session, you don't want to have your mouse slip out of your hand. Although I don't really see that happening, but you know. <laughs> All right, now it also comes with seven programmable buttons. You on default, of course, is forward, backwards, and these are the only two buttons that I really would program me personally, because you know I left and right click I need. I'm just used to it. And the center wheel, you know, I generally only use it to open up new tabs and whatnot. And DPI adjust, I like having these buttons do that. But you can program all of them. Now, for these two buttons, I set it as melee, which I'm not all that good at. I'm not sure why I set that as melee. But this other button I set as an anti-Titan weapon. This is useful. So I don't have to like look at my keyboard and be like, where's number three anti-Titan weapon? Right here. Alrighty, so I did use it. It was really easy to use. And compared to the G600, even with the weight system on this mouse, it was still lighter than the uh, G600. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it around. Oh, actually, there's one thing I did want to go over also. I do like this uh, high mask roll wheel. It just means it's like thicker and it's flat. And you, you do have some grooves on there, so it's it's just more comfortable when you are scrolling. I don't like the little thin ones. Alrighty, um, going to go ahead and turn this over. And what you'll first see is a very sad looking robot with um, very high cheekbones. Yes, that's what I noticed. Look at his eyes, it's all sad and his little eyebrows. Oh, actually these are just Teflon gliding feet, but I do like how it looks like a sad, sad robot. But maybe one day it can look like a happy, happy robot. Alrighty, <laughs> so uh, first, before I remove the weights, I do want to talk a little bit about this sensor. So it is an optical sensor, 5000 DPI PixArt PMW3310 sensor. And maybe some of you are thinking, oh, I want a laser sensor or whatnot. But actually, optical sensors, if you have a proper mouse pad, it's generally better for games, especially FPS, where accuracy is like paramount, okay? Um, because even though laser mice, uh, they are more accurate and uh, faster technically, it still has inconsistent acceleration, which means that it can cause inaccuracies when you aim 
quickly. And that is something you will be doing when you play games like BF4 and Titanfall. Literally, it's just like, it, uh, what is it, involuntary reflex or something like that? Because uh, you, you get really scared and you're just like, oh my god, kill! And that's like my first instinct. <laughs> now it's time for Abe Lincoln to make his appearance. That is Abe, right? Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and remove these three screws here. But first, I want to talk about how much they weigh. So there is a screw that screws into the weight. So the screw itself is 1.5 grams and the weight is 4 grams, and that's each. So let's go ahead and take out one of them so I can show you what it looks like. See how easy it is? It's like exactly the size of a penny. Okay, I'm doing this very badly. <laughs> it's actually much easier than this, but there we go. So this is what the screw looks like. There you have it. And then, this is what the weight looks like. So you can go ahead and just have it all out or just have them all in. Alrighty, but uh, I believe that covers it for this mouse. We're gonna go ahead and check out the software portion. Here's a quick look at the software. So right now I've named it Joanne's M45. And this is where you assign the buttons but I want to quickly go over to manage profiles first and work in reverse here. So in order to create a new profile, and make sure to save whatever you've changed to the M45, you know, just in case. And if you want to save a different profile, just click on it and hit save to M45. So let's go ahead and create a new one. Simple, just like that. Double click. And what do we want to call this? Um, off the top of my head, googly bear. <laughs> you will always hear very random different names when you just let me do what I want. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and go to, actually let's stay on M45, let's save this, yes, and then go to uh, manage performance, this is where you can change your report rate, your lift height, there it is, high to low, and you can even enable independent XY DPI. There's also angle snapping, and like I said, here are the uh, different DPI modes. These are the LEDs that go with it. Oh my god, that's very slow. But you could change it to be a little faster, but we're just gonna move it back. And there's even a sniper. Oh man, that is so slow. Alrighty, I mean the sensitivity. So let's go back to normal 2400. This is what I'm most comfortable with. Alrighty, let's move on to, oh, and by the way, you could just change up your profile to see whatever DPS you'd like to change it to. And let's go to assign buttons. Now, here's where it's fun. Now, this is the LED. There's not really much options except for on and off. We're just going to keep it on. Alrighty, so here is the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the buttons I told you about. You have, just have to like click into it to see, it. see right now, this is the anti-Titan weapon three. But let's say you wanted to um, create another macro. So you just hit the macro record, it will start flashing, then hit three. And we're going to type out... QWERTY because it is awesome like that and we're gonna stop that and it should have recorded it we're gonna go ahead and open up notepad right here and go ahead and press the scroll wheel so boom QWERTY how cool is that yeah don't save changes and if you want a delay for example you could just go to delay options, type in the number that you, amount that you want, and there's advanced options, for example, you could do cut, print, save to your commands, close window, open up a, a launcher program. So that's not really just for gaming, it's, it's pretty awesome. And also, uh, there's also button options and advanced. Ooh, see, there's sniper, boom, there, yeah. And I believe that covers it for the uh, button assignments and whatnot. So hope you found this informative and we're going to go ahead and uh, stop recording. It's time for pros and cons. What do I like about this mouse? Well, I do love that you do get some LEDs with it on the fly DPI adjust. I mean, the whole seven programmable buttons, that's pretty sweet. I mean, that's, even though it's like, I feel like it's more entry level, it's still like enough buttons to play your FPS games. Although I would like to see more, <laughs> mainly because I'm an MMO player, but even for FPS, I would like to see even just two or three more buttons. Alrighty, I also really like the soft touch finish as well as the rough sides. I mean, they've really thought it out. It's like, I know you're going to be sweating when you're playing these games. So here is some rough sandpaper sides for you.
Um, and also, do you like the scroll wheel? Would have liked to see more LEDs though, but um, do you like that this is flat and round? Um, and let's flip it around to the back. Not every mouse has weights that you can take out and uh, because you know everybody has like their own preference about how heavy they'd like their mice or keyboards to be and whatnot and this is just a really nice touch and you get a lot of uh, Teflon gliding feet so I must say it was very smooth across my uh, mouse mat um, and do like the braided cable this is definitely a quality touch right and now for cons because you know with every pro there must be some cons. <laughs> well, for me personally, because I'm an MMO player, I would have liked more programmable buttons, especially on this side, since I am right-handed. Oh, yes, this is a right-handed mouse, so it would have been nice if there were buttons on this side too, so it could be for left-hand use also. So there is another con. And I would have liked to see maybe more options for LED in the software. I don't think there was a lighting options as in different colors or anything like that. So there's that, and also weight system. This mouse is still relatively light, even with the weights in it, compared to my other mouse. And maybe I would have liked to see two more weights included, that would have been cool. But um, I'm guessing, you know, for the price, for what it's meant to do it it does the job so well that wraps it up for this unboxing on the Corsair Raptor M45 gaming mouse once again it's for FPS and I really hope you enjoyed it found it a little funny I don't know felt like I didn't throw as many jokes into this one but <laughs> anyway I hope you still enjoyed it all the same and if you did please hit the subscribe button like and comment because I love to hear what you have to say and also don't forget to follow me on Joanne Tech Lover um, Facebook Twitter is your own food lover and twitch.tv slash welltune where I game stream with Tim on a weekly basis. And also, please help donate to this channel so you can help expand my channel. And I really, really want to do builds, so por favor. <laughs> Alrighty, and one last thing, I have a store up. It's called Store Envy where you can buy autographed prints. And go ahead and check that out if you are curious. And I'm going to try my best to do at least one or two, you know, photo shoots a year to like spice up that, um, you know, variety. <laughs> Alrighty, so I guess all that's left to say is mwah, love you much.